Hi, this is Tim Poffenbarger. This is a follow-up video uh, in regards to my guest user project where I want guest users who don't have access to see the code, um, I want them to still be able to download code after code has been released. So this guest user project, uh, I had a, a Python script, uh, three jobs that were uh, comprised of the, the process of downloading everything. You can see what this looked like here where I was uh, generating a release using our release CLI. I was uh, downloading all the previous releases and then publishing them out to pages. Uh, this is great. Uh, what I wanted to do is, is make this even more efficient and um, abstract things a little bit. So now we have a single CI job um, that I will show you. And it's just, uh, and we're including this, it's all being published in the release aggregator and uh, released to guests and you can see what that looks like where it's just a pages job but it's still utilizing the release aggregate or the the release cli and i i can show you what that looks like right here uh, so this file is the the everything that's kind of combining everything uh, with the the release syntax as well as the uh, artifacts uh, the public pages uh, syntax. This page job has to be called pages for the pages uh, functionality to work. So let's go ahead and kick this off. And as a guest user, if I wanted to, I can, uh, so this is my guest user persona, T. Poffenberger customer, and I can go into deployments and be able to see releases, but nothing else. I can uh, Typically, you would be able to see all the source code that's associated with this, but I can click on this guest user accessible download link, and it's going to take me over to GitLab pages. It's gonna initiate that download of version 16, and subsequently, it's going to uh, then redirect me back. Uh, so you can use the GitLab user interface and uh, Customers won't be none the wiser, but they still uh, are requiring authentication to be able to uh, view this code as a guest user.